happening now. A third homeless encampment in Nashville is being cleared out by Metro Sur Social Services. It's part of their Welcome Home Housing Surge initiative. Peyton Kennedy is live at Wentworth Caldwell Park now with a look at the progress. Yeah, good morning, Nikkel. And you can actually see those Metro Parks employees headed into the encampment right now to continue their cleanup process. Now, as of last week, Metro Social Services told us that all 34 people who were living here were successfully rehoused. And again, a few dozen employees of Metro Park are here. They're in full body protective gear going through the leftovers. They're picking up everything from pieces of metal, beer bottles, food wrappers, a cast iron skillet, even mattresses, clothing. Their goal is to restore the park, and already several dumpsters are full. You may remember last Wednesday, the same day the encampment was closed, the bridge on the nearby corner of Nolensville Pike and Harding Place was the site of a fire. That bridge was shut down for two hours, and police say two people were taken into custody for causing the fire. Thankfully, no one was hurt. TDOT says the bridge is still functional, but it will be very costly to fix the damage. Now, in addition to Wentworth Caldwell, Metro Social Services has also closed Brookmead Park, rehousing a total of 88 people as part of their new initiative, Welcome Home Housing Surge. The TA truck stop in downtown Nashville is the third encampment in phase one. That is state property, however, so it is a bit more complicated, but we're told that social services are working with the 10 people who are living there to set them up with rehousing options. Reporting in Nashville, Peyton Kennedy, News 2.